are broadcasting live from booth 2300 at Adult Entertainment Expo with the Nina Hartley. Nina, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. This is my 34th AVN show. Oh my gosh. So you've seen this show every single year. Um, how has it changed or evolved over the years as you've attended? Um, I've seen it more from a small section of the band electronic show to its own thing, the AVN Expo, and now it is the, a the Adult Entertainment Expo. It's gotten bigger and bigger. Um, the biggest change since digital revolution, from analog to digital, is the growth of the cam, cam girls and the campsite. Um, and the access that gives many young women into the sexuality oh, entertainment business without having to have sex with other people, without having to leave their hometown, without having to put themselves in any other kind of danger. Um, and while making pornography with other people is not so dangerous, not everyone wants to have sex with other people on camera. But being alone in the room with your clients, with your fans, is awesome. I love the fact that any young woman, any woman, can find her way into making money, using her sexuality in a way that's safe. I think it's fantastic. It's a, it's a really an easy stepping stone that's accessible for many people. But a lot of times what I've found that working th with cam models throughout the years is that this tends to be more of a knee-jerk reaction. Whether they get into it for, for like circumstances, personal circumstances, not necessarily because they want to do that and they want to express themselves like that sexually. What are your views on that as far as people that are looking to kind of just jump into the adult industry be first? I mean, I, the reason I like camming is that so obviously what the public sees is very glossy and pretty and seems so glamorous and they have pretty makeup and all the things and you think I want that, but we're not Hollywood. You know, pornography is the tail is the ass end of entertainment business, which itself is a rapacious thing that needs more and more and more. Right? So we always need everyone needs content. NBC, ABC, Street Maybe, all need content. And so people who want attention or need attention. I mean, I, I got into entertainment because I like women, but also any entertainer is someone who needs attention. Why else would we get on stage in front of people and expose ourselves that way? So there's a personality type. If a person is not truly exhibitionistic, camming's not going to be the good thing for them, right? Because guys are going to ask them to do what they don't want to do. And so if you have a person who has the boundaries, oh, sweetheart, no, I don't do that. If they don't know how to, how to, how to keep them away, it's very harming because it's like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm not, I'm not enough. I need to do more to get their approval. And, and so, I've seen some women not do well here emotionally because it wasn't a good fit. Yes. So before any woman does any camming of any kind, do you like flirting? Do you like? Do you feel sexy and pretty? You can, what, how, you're interfacing with other people and their expectations of you. How well do you handle that? Uh -huh. And some people like myself, I'm always pretty good about that because I just said, oh, do that because your trip. But if I was a different person, your disapproval of me as a customer might wreck my entire week. So you can't be weak. It's adult, any entertainment jumps in a strong, and especially adult entertainment because you're talking about nudity and people getting very judgmental with you. Um, so it's not just for anybody. It's not for any, and that's just because. And you have to have very thick skin in this industry, despite, regardless of what side you're on, film, cam, would you agree? You do. Because you, you get to be the sticky, you get to be the sticky post for everyone's projections onto you. So can you get me? So you people assume things about me because I'm female, a certain age, make smart. People are going to assume things about you because you are Asian American and you're young and you're physically fifteen. And so they think they know something about you when they don't know anything about you at all except by the way you look. But on to that, you know, they're going to project also are you, your knees or your face. You know, I don't tell you how people perceive yes, you. It's very so, fetishized. It's a weird yes. feeling. But, oh, so, how, so are you a cam model? Um, no, not Okay. Not. Um, so were you ever? I was, yes. So how did you handle, how were you able to monetize their fetishization of things that you don't find a fetish? Um, you know, I didn't really, I, if, if you're turned off, you're turned off, you know, and so the, the easy way is to block or to kick them out, okay. or just to ignore, okay. you know, but yeah, if, if, if I wasn't into something, then I wouldn't go 
Yeah, yeah you. See, but now something in you, even though you're young, you knew something in you said, I'm not. Uh -huh. So that yeah. is, that has to be, for any cam model to do well here, she has to have some part of that just goes, that, that will say no to whatever it is. Right. It's just like, no, no. Right. And that is not, it seems easy to you and me, because, oh, no way, no way. I'm not going to do the dog, okay? It's not going to happen, <laughs> right? You can't absorb every single critique. You can't say yes to every single thing. I think, yeah, you, also you wouldn't have any kind of long-term success or longevity. You, you would burn industry. out and go crazy. Um, and some people did sell, some people, Back in the analog days, there were many women who came to adult entertainment who really had no business being here. Um, and they did self-medicate their shame and their and their conflict in such a way that some of them had to quit the business because it was hurting their health. Because they should never be here in the first place. So back in analog days, if you left the business, let your hair go back to natural color, stop getting the long nails, it probably wasn't gonna come and bite you in the behind. Now with the internet it can never be something you did once. It's always going to be there. So I tell girls, it, right. it never it's there, goes it's away. Yeah. It, the internet never goes away. People found, uh, people just say they took it from, from stuff from 25 years ago. I'm like, how, how did that make it on the internet? Oh my God. Do you even remember like whenever people show you things from years and Most years ago? Most of the time I do. Yeah. I can tell for, I can tell what five year age gap, five year gap is by my hair. Uh -huh. or, oh, I, yeah. or I remember a specific event. Oh yeah, that was in 89. Um, but uh, so, I, so the cam models out there, I want them to know that camming is a neutral vehicle. And all any, so you're not competing with the girl next to you. Yes. All any cam model needs is a hundred clients in the whole world to give them 50 bucks a month each. That's a great way to look at it too. No matter how outside the average or norm you might be, there's a hundred guys in the whole world who think you are the bee's knees. And the more outside the, the norm you are in appearance, the longer it's going to take you to find that hundred guys, but when they find you, they'll never leave because fetish fans are loyal. So if you have the thing that they want, and you're nice about it. They'll never, they'll never, they'll, they'll keep, people pay me money for 35 years now because they like what I do, they like how I am. And so any performer can do that as long as they stick to things they truly enjoy, like you knew how to do. You knew, yes, yes, no, no. I'll pay you more, no. I'll pay you a lot, no. And you have to be able to say no. Because if you don't say no, you say yes to things that, that don't work for you, your spirit starts to die. Yes. And, and you could only take a couple hits like that before you just start taking drugs or you need to leave. So just say no, just yeah. say no. Stick to your standards and have firm boundaries. I think that's solid advice. So the Nina Hartley that people know that they see out there, the persona of Nina Hartley, um, as I come to know more cam models, they play into certain things. Like for instance, if someone thinks that a girl looks like a bitch, then she'll play into that and kind of use that as her niche. So do you feel like the persona that people know is Nina Hartley, do you think that that was steered from people's perceptions of you? Um, in my situation, it was more my intention. Because I knew, my first time in a strip club as a, as a dancer, I knew I was a lifer. I knew that I was going to be in the sex business my whole career. I had found my people. Um, and and always, I've been a nurse. From the, I was in nursing school when I started moving, and I completed my degree. So I'm always teaching, I'm always educating, I'm always advocating, I'm always out there pushing for sexual literacy and sexual liberation and sexual autonomy and consent. And so people now, and I'm old enough to really step into my, into my, educator advocate role because now I'm old enough to be that lady. But in the beginning I was that person, at 25 or that person, but I didn't know enough, I, I didn't. My belief system has not changed much in the last 45 years. But my appearance has changed and my delivery's gotten better. I'm more on point in a message. I'm here, you have here to have fun, I'm here to be with the pretty ladies. I'm over here to message. Ford has been a great megaphone for my personal message of literacy and liberation. Talked about earlier, know your boundary. 
Ready? Know your intentions. I wish to do know why you're here and own it. You don't got to tell anybody, but why am I making, why am I interacting with the, with the adult entertainment business? Why? Money, fame, approval, fuck you, dad, I, la, 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 whatever. And then learn about, take business courses, learn about business. The, my biggest regret, besides not leaving my first husband sooner, was being so uninterested in business. I was all about in front of the camera. And I didn't learn enough about how does the business work? How do you negotiate deals? So the more a woman can know about business, the more she can learn about coding, the more she can learn about her own te technology, yes. the more autonomy she has, and the more mobile she can be. Um, take the day off, go to the beach, make love with your partner. Um, and all you need is 100 people in the whole world to pay you 50 bucks a month each. And honestly, there's a lot of guys that you probably can make up to 200 guys to give you 50 bucks a month each. And most people can live on that, you know? Um, but the fans worth having want to see you having a genuinely good time, not a pretend good time. That's why if you don't do something at home for free and for fun, do not do it on camera for money. I don't care what it is. If you don't basically like the thing, don't accept money for it because that will eat your soul. And you'll hate men, and you'll hate your life, you'll hate everything, and fuck you. And all you have to do is say, oh, sweetheart, that girl two channels over. You know, see that, you know, oh, you, you want Sally. You know, that's, you know what, that's Sally with an I, I'm Sally with a Y, you want her. So, just because, you know already, just because someone asks you for a thing, you, know, you can, and no is a complete sentence. Oh, sweetheart, oh, I don't do that. Oh, thank you so much, no. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun for somebody else. Go find her. Right, right. So as I have to ask, I need to know your perspective on cam models versus adult film. I know that in the past, I've, I've gotten the sense anyway, just me personally, that there's always kind of been this, um, this stigma, you know, like, oh, they're amateurs, you know, they work from home, they're not in this business, not really. It's almost like second-class performers. Almost that, like that, is, that is definitely, um, that's changing now. Uh -huh. The last thing that's changing now, because the foreign industry, meaning companies that make, that hire me to work with you uh -huh. and release a movie are vanishingly small. There's not many companies doing that. And so most of a girl's income is gonna be from camming. Right. right? Right? Because back in the day when I started, I did six to ten scenes a month. And then it was six to eight scenes, and then it was four to six scenes, and then it was one to two scenes. Now I get a paid scene every eight to ten weeks. Wow. From, wow. from, from a company saying, I want you, Nina, to be with so and so. If I waited for that to be, and I don't want, I don't tour anymore, I don't, I don't feature dance don't anymore. Dance. So if I didn't cam, Mama be up the creek, uh -huh. right? I mean, I have, I and and uh, I, I mean, I have, I have a toy, I have a flashlight that pays me a little bit. I have a pay side that pays me a little bit. But if I wasn't keeping out there, camming and and, and doing my clip store, uh -huh. um, I wouldn't work that much. So the cam model, the camming model is the model of the future. Now, some of them might, might want to move out from camming pro-am into pro-pro, but making a movie is not the same as camming. So the cam model is used to having her own hours and stopping for lunch when she wants to say, taking a break now, be back in an hour. That don't fly on a movie set. <laughs> you have a hard schedule, and you also have a script, whereas right. you know, everything is live, a lot of things are impromptu. I mean, obviously you do have some control over how you steer your Oh, oh of course. Oh, yeah, so sure, how, yeah. has, how has your experience been on cam? Do you, do you enjoy it? What I, lo I love camming because camming is going back to being a stripper. Yeah. So I'm just in love and sexy talk while I play. Yeah, I love it. I, I love camming. And I have to say, because I have a fan base, my, they're really nice to me. Right. You know, and um, no one yet has come onto my, onto my room to age bash me. And yeah. if I do, then they go to get blocked. And it's like, seriously, motherfucker, I'm just so funny, you know. <laughs> oh, I'm so hurt. Boo hoo hoo, you're making an age joke. Well, well, well. I don't know how old I am. Of course I know how old I am. If I tell people I don't look to be your mom, but I'm no one's mom so it's not creepy. Yeah. You know, I don't have children. And so okay. my spirit can be any age from 18 to what I am now. Yeah. Right? Uh -huh. um, so when I meet your 24, 5, 
32. Okay, so <laughs> when I was 32, I was still eight years away from leaving a bad marriage. If you're not unhappily married, so yeah, you, you win! You win! Yay! You know what I'm so, um, I don't, it's very hard to hurt my feelings. Because I reckon, you know already that, that someone's opinion of me is their opinion. I no longer have to accept that they might have a, that they have a point. And if I think they do, I examine it. So like, is any part of that true? Okay, I can see why you could interpret it that way. But that's not where it's coming from. But if, and if I'm like, oh, wow. Oh, yeah, okay, there's greater truth to that. But other people's opinion of you are their opinions. It just, you don't have to accept it. And if you do accept too much negative opinion, that is an esteem issue, and you probably see a therapist. Right. So would you say that it's important for you to, I don't know, so many of the girls that are coming into the industry, I mean, they're younger, they maybe might not know themselves as well as, say, someone who's in their 30s. Of course, right? yeah. So is there any worry that, especially like the things that we've seen online, you know, all of the online bullying and that kind of thing, that, that can affect you, that they do take those things to heart? Like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do for that. Um, because if they weren't doing cam, then they could still be getting bullied online. You get bullied on Facebook, you get bullied on Twitter, you get bullied on Instagram, you can get bullied anywhere. Um, I don't have an answer for that. They're over 18, they're permitted to do this, and even if it's not a good idea, they can still do it. They're still allowed to do it, even if it's a bad idea for them. You know, and um, so get, the thing about porn or camming is that unlike most people, your bad, your training wheel incidents are there for everyone to see. I'm so glad there were no cameras when I was 18, 19. Girl, I'm so glad that certain things I did when I was younger, there are no pictures. And so now it all happened. So now it all happened. And they're, they're out there forever. Yeah. yeah. So I tell the same things again. get. In the beginning, you know, but so solo camping is still the safest way in. No one's touching you. They don't know where you live. The better companies let you block your state so no one in your state can see you. Um, I think it's a great idea. Uh, so your neighbor can't. So There's that's a little buffer of privacy. A little, yeah, just a little bit. A little bit. Um, and, and if they don't like it, I hope they stop. You know? So, um, 2018, we're in a brand new year. What's coming up for you? What are you excited about? I'm excited about um, continuing my work. I'm excited about the Woodhull Sexual Freedom Alliance, which is, I serve on the board, and that is a, an organization advocating sexual freedom as a fundamental human right, and it works at the intersection of human rights and sex, sexuality. That's Woodhull, W-O-O-D-H-U-L-L, foundation.org, woodhullfoundation.org. And I'm starting a new venture, a Nina Nation, that is gonna be basically Safe for work, Nina. So Nina with her clothes okay. on. Okay. Um, that's still being built, but that is what, where we're going next. That sounds amazing and always evolving and always continuing to diversify, right? Yes, I think it's yes, yes. Diversify well. revenue stream, um, and ab advocacy, education, and activism, and pleasure. Nina, thank you so much for stopping by today, and thank you for all of the sound advice as well for the models who are watching at home. Well, I'm very happy. So, ladies, do what you like. Say no to what you don't want to. If a guy finger jerk, just block him. There you go. Nina, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Nice thank you. Bye-bye.